actually embedded is rather unique because most of the engineers in um, hardcore C and embedded Linux, they work for like networking infrastructure companies or manufacturing companies. Uh, but we managed to keep the team since the very beginning of the company till now, 40 people who are seasoned uh, embedded professionals and they work on various levels of development, starting with industrial design down to development of drivers, application of various industrial protocols to this or that type of uh, software. A uh, majority of people on this team, they have over 10 years of industrial programming experience, so really projects that are in use, and they can show you know, where their piece of software is installed on this mm -hmm. elevator, for instance, or in this car. They have to go down to, to this level of deepness, let's say, try, try to understand how the hardware piece work, how the firmware work, what industrial protocols and standards are behind this product, and as they need to have expertise in debugging it and understanding how to improve the solution or how to port it from one system to another system, from yeah. one piece of hardware to another. The other thing that this uh, this client says is that, uh, hey, we're having the hardware developed in, in China or Taiwan, and uh, those guys are great at developing the hardware. In fact, we if we design it here in North America, we're going to choose all the wrong parts, all the wrong layout with respect to cost. You know, so in when it's designed and eventually manufactured in China or Taiwan, they know what to choose because it'll keep the manufacturing costs as low as possible. But software, mm -hmm. forget it. Those guys, for some reason, they just can't develop the software uh, uh, quickly, accurately. Uh, it, it just has not worked out for them. So they have this quandary of, of uh, gee, we really want to have the hardware designed and developed in China, but we want to have the software developed elsewhere. And how do you coordinate those two? Have you run into that problem with embedded clients? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, majority of companies, they order their hardware in China or Taiwan or you know Korea, and uh, we have to work with teams over there. Uh, some of them, they, some of our clients, they don't even want uh, drivers to be developed over there. So they actually ordering the hardware. We have to, you know, go down to this level and then develop drivers, develop um, all the integration solution installation packages, and then have to develop the software on top of it for, you know, for the end user to be able to work with this uh, hardware. Yeah. So we have experience when we manage even delivery of a certain shipments of uh, hardware over to US and to Europe and we helped our client to also support this well the package solution because support over there is limited to maybe changing certain things in the next delivery of the hardware but we need to provide a support and maintenance center to uh, understand where the problem is and to try the end users to overcome the, this issue and you know any company who works in a global market now and has embedded expertise in house they need to be ready for you know over time work communication with guys in Asia when the time difference is yep. sometimes 13 hours. So, I mean, it, it brings uh, some certain limitations, but in general, we able so far we've been able to manage this process.